Boeing 737 passenger door. Now for the door specifications. All doors are pressure plug type inward outward opening doors. During opening, the door first moves inward and only then has to be pushed outward and forwards. Door L1 is spring assisted for easier opening. The doors operate on two hinges and use four roller type latches for positioning and locking. The door is held in the open position by either a mechanical latch on the upper hinge or a yellow latch on the door hinge beam, also known as a gust lock. A light on the flight deck will indicate when the door is not locked. Red flag. A red flag is fitted next to each viewing window on all doors as a visual warning that the girt bar has been attached to the floor brackets and that the slide will automatically deploy when the door is opened. Cabin crew are responsible for attaching the flag over the window before the door is armed and removing the flag when the door has been disarmed. Opening from outside. The doors are first checked for the red warning flag. If the flag is not visible, the door handle is pulled out and rotated. While rotating the handle fully unlocks and unlatches the door, thus allowing the door to come to its full inboard position. The exterior handle is released and restowed. The rear edge of the door is pulled out to the full open position and it is made sure that the gust lock engages. Flight crew and cabin crew must not open doors from the outside unless an air bridge or ground steps are used. The inside door handle rotates as the outside handle is rotated. The outside handle should be rotated slowly to avoid rapid or unexpected movement of the door. Closing from inside. First, the gust lock is pressed on the upper hinge. The assist handle at the top of the door is grasped and the door pulled inwards. The operating handle is rotated towards the front of the aircraft. This position closes and latches the door. Once the door is closed, a visual check around the door frame must be made to ensure it is correctly seated and that nothing is caught between the door and the frame. To arm a door, Cabin crew doors to automatic. the red flag is first placed across the door window. The girt bar is detached from the stowage hooks under the bustle. It is ascertained that the slide is not trapped under the girt bar. The girt bar is then inserted into the floor brackets. It is made certain that the girt bar is secured at both ends. Pre-flight check. Red warning flag is attached to the door. The viewing window is clear. Slide pressure is in the green sector. The girt bar is stowed correctly on the stowage hooks. The door is securely seated. To disarm a door, cabin crew doors to manual. The girt bar is detached from the floor brackets. The girt bar is stowed securely on the hooks of the bustle. It is made sure that the girt bar is securely stowed on the stowage hooks on either end of the bustle. The red flag is removed from the door window. Opening from inside. First, the outside is checked for hazards. Door is checked whether disarmed. The door handle is grasped and rotated in the direction of the arrow. The door is pushed outwards until it locks against the fuselage. It must be kept in mind to hold onto the door assist handle in the aircraft. It must be made sure that the gust lock on the upper hinge engages. To close from the outside, First, the gust lock is pressed down or lifted. The door is grasped and pulled to begin rotation. The door then lifts off the body and enters the cabin. When the door has reached its most inboard point, the exterior handle is grasped and pulled out from its recess. The handle is rotated until the door is closed and locked. Both forward doors move into the cabin with significant speed and force. Hands and fingers must be kept clear of the door edges whilst closing the door. The outside door handle is sprung loaded to retract into the recess. The handle must be released carefully to avoid pinching fingers. APU air duct. The APU air duct is located behind R2 door. Due to danger of foreign objects getting from the aft galley into the APU air duct, it is prohibited 
to open R2 door whilst the APU is running. Cabin crew should receive permission from the flight deck before opening the aft service door. When the R2 door is closed, it must be reported to the flight deck immediately. Door strap. When the doors are open and there are no steps or an air bridge in place, a door strap attached to the side of the door or the rear assist handle must be fitted across the door opening. This serves as a warning to prevent anyone from using a door without steps or an air bridge in place. If the door straps are in use and passengers are on board, the door must be guarded by a cabin crew member. Before closing the door, it must be made certain that the door straps are restowed correctly.